in view of the discussion above, the following are the conclusions. This court A, this court is vested with the authority to hear this case. Under Article 32, this court has the power to issue directions, orders, or it's for the enforcement of the rights in Part 3. B, queerness is a natural phenomenon known to India since ancient times. It is not urban or elite. C, there is no universal conception of the institution of marriage, nor is it static. Under Articles 245 and 246 of the Constitution, read with Entry 5 of List 3 to the 7th Schedule, it lies within the domain of Parliament and the state legislatures to enact laws recognizing and regulating queer marriage. D. Marriage has attained significance as a legal institution largely because of regulation by the state. By recognizing a relationship in the form of marriage, the state grants material benefits exclusive to marriage. E. The state has an interest in regulating the intimate zone to democratize personal relationships. F. The issue of whether the constitution recognizes the right to marry did not arise before this court in Justice K.S. Puttaswamy, nine judges, Shafin Jahan and Shakti Vaini. G. The constitution does not expressly recognize a fundamental right to marry. An institution cannot be elevated to the realm of a fundamental right based on the content accorded to it by law. However, several facets of the marital relationship are reflections of constitutional values, including the right to human dignity and the right to life and personal liberty. H. This court cannot either strike down the constitutional validity of the Special Marriage Act or read words into the Special Marriage Act because of its institutional limitations. This court cannot read words into the provisions of the SMA and provisions of other laws, allied laws, such as the Indian Succession Act and the Hindu Succession Act, because that would amount to judicial legislation. The court in the exercise of the power of judicial review must steer clear of matters, particularly those impinging on policy, which fall within the legislative domain. I. The freedom of all persons, including queer couples, to enter into a union is protected by Part 3 of the Constitution. The failure of the state to recognize the bouquet of entitlements which flow from a union 